Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I have a highly requested video. This is a how to make a dash system. You know, when you're playing like fighting games usually and you press like Q usually, you know, you'll kind of like roll forward in a sense or like just jump forward. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that stuff. Just to let y'all know, this the scripts work for R15 and R6, but the animations I have are specifically made for R15. So if your game is using R6 models, you can still use this system. You would just need to find your own animations and stuff, but it'll still work. So anyway, let's get, let's get straight into it. First things first, we're gonna need a, well, actually, damn, actually for once, we actually don't need a dummy, damn. Cause I'm, I'm so used to making like things like guns and stuff. So you just need a dummy to test it on. Anyway, we don't need the dummy, so ignore that. So first we're gonna need a remote event. We can head on over to replicated storage and insert the remote event. And you guys can name it dash event, right? So just, just go here. If you don't see it, just type remote event, rename it to dash event and make sure that's in replicated storage, right? Then in server storage, you're, just, you're simply going to have a regular part. Like I literally mean a regular part. The only properties you're changing is that you're making it completely invisible and that you want to make sure that it's anchored and that can collide is turned off. I'm going to use this part and I'm going to show you guys in a second. I'm going to use this part to pretty much position the direction that I want to roll in, like pretty much the part is going to spawn in front of my player and then i'm going to use the angle that the part is at to then kind of launch my player and make sure it's launching in the forward direction and stuff right that's pretty much ensuring it that's the purpose of this part so you can leave this in server storage right and then we're going to head on over to starter player here's a dash sound i simply went to toolbox i got i typed in dash sound effects i got a dash sound and i got a dash animations just go to toolbox you'll find the animations and sound effects so first things first let's take care of the local script Let's head on over to Stutter Player Scripts and insert a local script. If you don't see it, then just type local script. And then you guys can name it dash script local, right? Put a capital L, right? And then you guys can put dash the sound inside of the script. Delete print hello world. First things first, let's get the user input service. So local UIS is equal to game, get service, user input service. Then we're going to get the dash mode event. So local dash event is equal to game that replicated storage wait for child dash event right then i'm going to uh create the function whenever the player presses the q key they'll dash and stuff so or they'll initiate the dash i guess you could say so we're going to do uis dot input begin connect function in parentheses put input and then you want to put comma process right this is to make sure that the player is pressing the q key not typing with the key like they're not typing in chat just to make sure so we're going to make an if, two if statements so if input dot user input type is first equal to nm dot user input type dot keyboard and input dot key code is equal to nm dot key code q you guys can change this uh key bind to whatever you want change whatever you want i'm just going with q stuff it doesn't matter right then the next if statement we're going to do if process is equal to false this makes sure that this means that the player is not typing and that they are pressing the q key right then so if it's equal to false then you're going to fire the remote event so dash event fire server we don't need to send we do not need to send over any arguments and we're going to play the dash sound so script dot dash play boom we are done on the local side we can then move to the server side so we can close the script out Below starter player scripts. Once again, make sure it is a local script inside of starter player scripts, which is inside of starter player. So yeah, let's head on over to server script service and then insert a server script. We can name this dash script parentheses put server. Then we can delete print hello world. We're going to make four variables. First, let's get the dash mode event. So local dash event equals game dot replicated storage wait for child dash event just like we did on the local script. Then I'm going to get the part that we're going to put in, in front of our player so that we can use the angle and stuff to make sure we're dashing in the correct, we're like, I guess you could say moving in the correct direction, right? So local part is equal to game, that server storage, wait for child part. Then I'm going to get the debris service and the twin service. So local DS is equal to game, get service, or yeah, it's not debris, it's not called debris service, but just yeah we'll just we'll just say debris service we'll just say debris service and stuff but yeah oh actually no we shouldn't need the, yeah we shouldn't need the twin service i think i was planning on using it but i didn't end up using it but yeah then we're going to create the dash animation so local dash animation it's really smooth when you guys see it i don't know it just looks really really smooth to me equals instance that new animation then 
dash animation that animation id is equal to quotation marks rbx asset id colon two forward slashes then here you would put your id so for me it is one four three nine zero eight three six nine nine one okay then moving on we're going to get into the remote event the on server event function so dash event dot on server event connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for the player then we're going to get the player's character so let's do local character is equal to player dot character then i'm going to make a lot of variables first i'm going to create an attachment so i'm going to say local attachment is equal to instance dot new attachment right and i'm going to pair this attachment to the character's human root part so character dot humanoid root part right then i'm going to create a linear velocity if you watched my how to make a rasengan video you would know i use this to create the knockback effect pretty much all like the effects like ragdoll and stuff like that you would use things like you're using like linear velocity and stuff like that but this time i'm using it to make it so i just go forward rather than you know go back so local linear velocity is equal to instance dot new of course linear velocity you guys can parent this to the attachment then we're going to set its properties first things first we're going to get right with the part we're going to clone over the part so local part clone is equal to part clone then part clone which we're going to set its parent is equal to game dot workspace then we're going to set its c frame so part clone c frame i'm going to use doing the exact same thing i did in how to make a car spawner video i'm going to say character dot humanoid root part dot c frame times c frame dot new i'm going to say negative negative one comma negative one and negative 20 right and then i'm going to create the animation track so local animation track is equal to character dot humanoid root part make sure you're typing this correctly i'm sorry not humanoid root part human just humanoid humanoid load animation dash animation then of course i'm going to play the animation track so animation track play now we're going to set the property of the linear velocity so linear velocity dot max fours you could just say is equal to just put like five nines so yeah like five nines then we're going to set the vector velocity so linear velocity dot vector velocity is equal to i had to play around with this down to sleep figure out how to just go forward but anyway we're going to do part clone right we're going to do part clone dot position minus character dot humanoid root part that position dot unit times vector three dot new 100 comma zero comma 100 right you guys can mess around with these numbers by the way the numbers right here you guys can mess around with these numbers uh change it if you want to roll forward you would increase the value and stuff like that so just mess around with the numbers to see see whatever you like and then i'm going to set its attachment so linear velocity that attachment zero this is of course equal to the attachment we created then for the last two things i'm going to use the debris service so ds add item and i'm going to first add the attachment so we destroy the attachment after 0.1 second because we because if we didn't destroy it it would just keep like it would literally just fling my player it would just fling my player off the map and then we just keep respawning so yeah so we're going to destroy the attachment after 0.1 second because that should be enough time then ds add item and we're also going to destroy the part clone because we wouldn't want just a whole bunch of parts in in the inside the uh in the map instead or in the work let's just say and it shouldn't cause any performance issues considering we're just creating it for 0.1 second and destroying it right after so so yeah just like that we have finished and now for the finished result let's go ahead and press play and let's test and see if everything works go ahead and press q okay invalid animation id all right load animation animation track okay i must have typed something wrong with the animation id let me check one four three nine zero eight three six nine nine one hmm, what's rbxs oh oh i forgot rb oh my bad guys i forgot rbxs at it it's crazy because I, rem I remember i said it out loud but i guess i just forgot to type it rbx asset id there we go all right now let's see okay so if i press there we go you guys you guys should hear the sound you hear the little sound and then you see i move forward 
yeah, I move forward and I do like a tuck and roll. Like, like this animation is so clean to me. Like you see, you you're just doing like a, a nice little front flip, like a somersault or whatever. And stuff is just it looks so it just looks so clean to me. But anyway, if you guys want access to this script or model, whatever, as always, you guys can become a channel member. You guys can find out more information about that in the description. You guys can become a channel member, or you can become a Discord premium member by joining the Discord server and then uh using one of the server subscriptions, I guess, and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway. Um, if you guys want to join my Discord server, link is in the description, as well as my Roblox group. They can both be found in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.